this Friday. It's called the Salcedo Sound Off. Today, we wanted to know from the folks in New York City why they voted to keep all the Democrats' misery going. Our producer, Nico Romano, roamed the streets to find out. New Yorkers have been dealing with a ton of crime and a poor economy and chose to stay the course and vote Democrat. Do you think that was the right decision by them? No. I think Kathy Hochul has done a great job. She doesn't, con the state legislature are the ones that put the cash bail. And so really it's hard to change right now. Do you think Kathy Hochul is going to do anything to change and make things better in New York? I haven't been convinced yet. I would take that as a resounding yes. The crime should be coming down. The police should have more authority. How do you think things are in the city? Terrible, terrible. I used to be like, working here for 20 years. I, I don't want to work here anymore. One moment, one moment, one moment, one moment. Don't do that. The Republicans also have not laid out a plan. They want to cut Social Security. Like, they have not given a plan. 75% of voters aren't happy with the, with the way things look in America. He said he wouldn't do anything to change. What do you think about that? Well, I, I never voted for him, and I never will, and I hope people don't vote for him, too. <laughs> Personally, I'm from Florida. I visit the city a lot. I voted with, uh, with Republicans in Florida for Governor Ron DeSantis. I think he's done a lot down there for Florida. Thank you very much. The reason why right now we're not voting red is because they're the state of the Republican Party, if you even want to call them a party. But the left has an agenda, and quite frankly, I don't know if it's all his. He advocated for you know, working across the aisle and one America, and we haven't seen that yet, too. I think Joe Biden can't even change his underwear. <laughs> <laughs> okay. On that note, let's bring in Sean Spicer from Spicer & Company. I mean, we'll just toss that right over to Sean. There you go, Sean. Can't put on his underwear. You know, at some point, I, I think all the smart people, uh, I shouldn't say that, but I think a lot of the people moved to Florida. How's that? You can tell by the number of votes that increased down in Florida. After COVID, they saw the difference, the two states' policies, and they said, I'm going south. 